Hey guys, Norm over here for Vintage Guitar Minute. And this is a pretty cool guitar. This is a 1963 Fender Custom Telecaster, original white case. And uh, it's not a slab board, it's after the slab, but it's clay dot, early logo, custom Telecaster, very clean guitar. A um, little bit of belt buckle in the back, but hardly any neck wear. Um, just a really stunning guitar. These guitars are quite rare, double binding on the front and the back. That's what makes them the custom Telecaster. And then later on, they had the Telecaster Custom, which is like the Keith Richards guitar, which has the one humbucking and the one uh, Tele pickup in the back and a humbucking up here. So, but this is a uh, custom Telecaster, Fender Custom Tele. And it's a double bound sunburst, clay dots, um, early guard, three tone sunburst. Just a really great example. Um, always good to see stuff like this. And it's got the original cover in here too, over the pickup. Hey guys, so this is a really cool guitar. This is, as you can see, the brown case. This is a 1960 Fender Stratocaster. And got a little bit of wear, but very clean guitar, green guard, clay dots, slab board. And what I mean by the slab fingerboard is it's a thicker board and it has the curved lamination at the top. These boards are about twice as thick as the board that came after that, the non-slab boards. And um, so if you ever need to refret them and you need to plane the fingerboard or do anything like that, um, you have plenty of fingerboard. They also produce a different sound. Spaghetti logo, which is this early style logo. Green guard, uh, just a tinge of red in the sunburst. Tremolo, um, pre-L series, obviously. And uh, just a nice clean guitar. It's got a little bit of wear. But man, these guitars are hard to find, and this one's prime, and it sounds and plays as good as it looks. Okay, so this guitar does not have an original case, but this is a 1959 uh, Fender Precision Bass. Really a great, great instrument. Um, People often say, what's the difference between the 57, 58, and 59? Well, the 57 generally is a two-tone sunburst. This is a three-tone where it has some red in the sunburst. Anodized gold guard. Um, great neck on this thing. Uh, the 58s, and, uh, 58s generally have a raised A-pole pickup. The 59 does not. They're flat. And um, the one-piece maple neck. Old logo. A little bit of wear, but really cool, cool instrument that plays and sounds just as look good as it looks. The only thing is, this one does not have the original case, but it's a, just a great guitar. These are my favorite of the P basses. You can't get any better than this. Low action, plays up and down the neck like a dream. Doesn't get any cooler. 59 Fender Precision Bass. Okay guys, so this is just a very cool and unusual amp. This is a 52 to 53 Fender Super Amp. So this amp has two 10 inch speakers and it's got the V front. So the front is kind of almost like a curved back a little bit, like wings, just a tiny drop. Uh, it's two 10s, the 210 Jensen type speakers. Um, just a great sounding amp, great blues amp, great blues harp amp. Um, they're uh, probably about uh, 35 watts, somewhere in there, and uh, again, it's two tens. Eventually, uh, these became the 410 Concert and then Super Reverb. So this is very early, they call it a TV front, early tweed, and with the early grill cloth, just a very cool and unusual amp. Yeah.